um, covering materials. I've got a, a sample here of one eighth inch clear glass, and that's a it's a nice material. Tempered uh, is is somewhat of a new invention. All the ancient greenhouses were untempered, and when the glass broke, look out. Uh, but this is tempered. Uh, now tempered glass uh, means it's uh, it's very strong on the face. In other words, it'll take a baseball, golf ball, rock on the face without breaking. However, you need to know when you're handling this that the edges are very fragile. Very fragile. The stress is transferred through that edge directly through the panel and they'll just disintegrate. Take a, take a bolt or, or set the corner down on concrete and you've got a pile of glass. This does fortunately break into small pieces that aren't going to hurt you. But, uh, and the edges are generally on, are sanded. When they do the tempering, they, uh, they treat the edges here. So you don't normally have a sharp edge. Don't count on it. I have seen it uh, come out with sharp edges when somebody forgot to, to do that edge. Anyway, tempered glass is uh, very strong. It'll bend. You can use long pieces if you were doing a, a 10 foot long home attached greenhouse and you wanted a single sheet of glass in your roof, that's very doable. This glass will bend as you handle it, but uh, I've, I've never picked up a piece of glass 10 feet long and had it break. It's uh, very durable in that uh, handling in that regard. But again, set that on the concrete and poof, <laughs> it's gone. And we've, uh, we've had uh, uh, polycarbonate around for uh, gee, 30, 40 years now, 40 years, 50 maybe. And polycarbonate is now one of the most popular coverings for a greenhouse. The, uh, of course, polycarbonate comes in many different uh, types of extrusions. And it's uh, one of the most popular because it insulates. It's easy to work with. It's lightweight. It's uh, got a long life, 15 to 20 years. And you've got some choices on uh, what style you'd like to use. Now, that being said, glass is still popular in the walls of greenhouses. So when one of the major benefits of polycarbonate is to diffuse the sunlight through the roof, a lot of people still like to have glass in the walls so they can see in and see out of the greenhouse and, in effect, pretty much still feel like they have a glass greenhouse. But the benefit of the insulating value in the roof, the polycarbonate, so there's a number of different types. Uh, you can compare the insulation values. Uh, uh, an R2 may not sound like much, but it's uh, twice as good as single glass. Uh, but your insulation value in a greenhouse, it's something actually you can save more by just keeping your thermostat turned down to the, the minimum that your plants will accept. So maybe we're t talking about a cool greenhouse with uh, nighttime temperatures of 50, 50 degrees. And if your plants are happy at 50, there's no reason to heat the greenhouse to 60 because the heating curve goes up astronomically. It's an accelerating curve as you raise the temperature in the greenhouse. So convexly, the lower you set the temperature, you know, it saves a lot uh, to go from 65 down to 55. So yeah, we had a, a customer that had a little six by eight greenhouse and uh, said so it's cost me an arm and a leg to heat that. And when I checked it out, I found he had the extension cord running through the door. He couldn't close the door of the greenhouse. So, I mean, you've got to have, use common sense on your heating too. Uh, so you might want to weather strip your vents, weather strip your door. Uh, a lot of the kit greenhouses don't come with uh, super uh, insulating, uh, insulating strips around the openings, around the vents and the door. So that's something that you can improve on your own. Uh, getting your own insulation strips to add to that. The uh, 16 millimeter is uh, uh, going to cost you twice as much as a 6 millimeter, but if you need the strength, if you need the resistance to wind or snow, uh, then that 16 millimeter is a nice product. The other thing I'd say about the 16 millimeter triple wall is that it's a very translucent uh, product. Let's see. It looks uh, perhaps more, uh, more like glass, and is, is uh, 
I don't know, when you, when you look at a greenhouse with this in it, it just looks more like a glass house than it does when you use the smaller uh, flute designs. When you have something with the flutes close together like this. Now this particular piece, maybe you can see, has a green tint to it. And that's that IR infrared reflecting uh, coating that's uh, actually extruded right into the material. So that's uh, going to uh, cool your greenhouse, oh, probably uh, 8 to 10 degrees by having this on the roof and uh, reflecting some of that infrared heat. Here is the traditional commercial product for covering a greenhouse. This is a UV protected polyethylene, six millimeter, and this works very well for uh, the hoop houses. Uh, very inexpensive. Uh, you can build a, a, a hoop house and put two layers of this uh, over the greenhouse and inflate that airspace between the two layers, and then you've got an insulated greenhouse. And that's very popular with the commercial growers. Get, uh, if you want a larger greenhouse, uh, inexpensive, uh, the commercial uh, style has really got it figured out. So that's a very in inexpensive way to go. There are uh, a special treatment they'll put on it. If you ask for it, uh, the anti-condensate. And that, uh, a lot of people aren't aware that the condensation on the inside really blocks a lot of the energy from getting into the greenhouse. The anti-condensate treatment on polycarbonate or polyethylene film makes those little droplets connect to each other and makes a clear flat film and the light can penetrate that rather than uh, creating all, all these little prisms that reflect the light. So if you're buying polyethylene, uh, ask for the anti-condensate coating on the inside. That's pretty, pretty readily available now. You said that's available on the polycarbonate too? Or? Yes, polycarbonate is available with the anti-condensate uh, mm -hmm. coating. So page eight gives you a, um, uh, a comparative list. Everybody has questions about glass versus uh, multi-wall polycarbonate. What are the benefits of each? And this is a, a checklist that you can use to, uh, to compare your, uh, your needs in a greenhouse covering. Uh, whether you want that uh, traditional appearance of glass or you want the insulated uh, value of polycarbonate and, uh, and uh, the benefits there. So, well, we've got through the, uh, the toughest part of this, uh, the foundations and the glazing materials and the framing. Uh, we're going to take a break, and uh, when we come back, we'll go into equipping the greenhouse and uh, all the goodies that you can play with in the greenhouse.